Hi, this is Sir Steve, bringing you another how-to guide. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up Hollow Knights. For Hollow Knight, all you need are two programs downloaded. The first being the Lumafly Mod Manager, which allows you to add any mods into the game to specifically Hollow Knight and a legal copy of Hollow Knight. This can be through Steam, Xbox Game Pass, uh, GOG. All that's important is that it's on your computer. And what I would advise doing is knowing the file path to it located on your computer. Easiest way to make sure you have that on hand is by right clicking on the game if in Steam, going down to properties, install files, and browse. This will show you the file path up here. You just click on this and then it shows the exact path you need, it, you need for it. With that, you'll then be able to get started. Once downloading the software, it'll prompt you of where you need or where the game file is. And after that, it'll give you this nice screen. Now there are two ways to download the needed files. You can either A, go into the mods, search for archipelago and it can give you some of that information <clears throat> what i would recommend doing is rather than going through it manually i would just go through the archipelago with rando essentials that way you'll be able to grab all the things that you may need or once once installed which it does take a while i will admit you can then go through and just double check all of that information you can make it so that you can turn some of these off turn some of them on so on and so forth there is a few so again it's up to you once you get in both of these installed you'll then be able to start the modded game my modded game very simple no download file needed be able to create a new room what you will need is ba -ba -da -ba. you'll need that magic number and you'll need your name once that's all done, select the option of launch modded game. Make sure that the archipelago file is indeed set to on while it boots on up. If you have some mods turned on and if you do decide to disable one or two of them, if you do, gotta make sure that there are no dependents or independents that are able to run without them. Case in point, I did not have one mod or turned on game crashed just go back double check on the files after that you'll be able to launch it and let's see that beautiful beautiful music from cherry studio if you'll be so kind there it is from there you'll be able to get into the game you'll select the option of archipelago Change the port number, set the correct name and password needed, start it up. I found that it does pause a bit on the initial startup and it'll launch you right in. It's going to show a lot of information at the start or it will show nothing for the start, which is fine. Should you start the game and it shows a bunch of information on screen you'll be able to go into the menu and have the option of being able to remove it in the pause menu here it does show a lot of options available as to where to check where to be able to look and all of that good stuff from here you'll be able to continue on i have it so that i cannot slice to the right but i can slice left and I can thankfully slice downward. But from there, you'll be able to go on through and enjoy your archipelago experience. Again, I do hope you all have a good day, good night, or whatever other time it is. And please let me know down in the comments what game you'd like to see me do next for archipelago setups. Until then, bye.